Hey, what's up everybody? In this short lesson I want to show you how track mats are used in After Effects and what are they besides weird sounding options. I want to show you something which is called a mask. The mask is similar to track mats in After Effects, while the modes are the same what blending modes are. So let us start. We have this image and I have this mask created for this image. The mask allows me to use the brightness which is the white and black color to reveal part of this image. Now, how does this work? Let me, for example, take the brush. This is now a white brush. Everything which is on white is revealed. Everything which will be on black will be hidden. I can, for example, reveal only parts of an image by painting this track mat or mask in Photoshop to black. You can, of course, use it differently. For example, I want to use the gradient tool and I drag a gradient. This is a simple white-black gradient. So everything which is on white is visible or barely white is barely visible and everything which is on black is invisible. Now, this is what I wanted to show in the masks. In After Effects, both the track mats and modes are really important. For example, I'll drag this image here into the composition. I make it bigger just so you see everything and I make it fit to screen. Now, I want to show you how the track mat works. If you do not see the track mat option, you can click on this middle button here on the bottom of the screen to reveal the modes and track mats. Let me show you what I mean by using the track mat. This is a simple rectangle. It's perfect because the fill is set to a gradient, which I wanted to have because I want to show you the white and blacks just as I did show you here in Photoshop. In After Effects, you use track mats from the bottom layer to the layer above. So you can see the first layer doesn't have the options for track mats because there is no layer above it. We have two options here. We have the alpha matte channel, alpha matte and alpha inverted matte, and we have the luma matte channel. The difference between them is that alpha matte uses the filled out pixels from an image and luma matte uses the brightness. So as we had white and black here in the luma matte White will be revealed, 100% revealed, black will be 0% revealed, while alpha matte will reveal the entire rectangle because the entire rectangle is filled with pixels. It doesn't matter if it's filled with white pixels or black pixels, the entire rectangle is filled with pixels. Now let me choose the first option, alpha matte. The alpha matte reveals this portion of this rectangle. Maybe it will be a bit more interesting if I place the mountains here, it will be better visible. So track matte alpha matte. Now I have this little portion of the image revealed. If I move the image, it can be moved and I can also move the shape like this to reveal a certain portion of the image. Now if you do invert it, it will do the same. It will just invert the pixels and will show everything but this rectangle. Now a little different option is luma matting because luma matting will reveal the whites but hide the blacks as I told you. Let me reveal this once again, so we see this. You see black is completely visible. Here we have a little transition and here it's still invisible. Now I'll once again make this invisible, make this image visible. You can see I can take this rectangle and it will reveal different portions of the image. So now you know, this is how track mats are used. They can reveal certain objects or portions of different layers. Damn! This is the end of the lesson. I know you wanted to sit on YouTube for 20 more minutes, but you can always subscribe or check out my courses. I have tons of good content. Thank you very much for your attention in this lesson. See you in the next one. Bye.